Hey guys, it's Destiny Heaven and I'm coming to you with a video on something that is very disturbing. Today we will be discussing the fatal murder of four innocent people and one victim that was left wounded but thankfully she was able to push it through and we can hear her side of the story. This mass shooting and murder took place in Indianapolis. This was all over a stimulus check, okay? He wanted some of Jenny Chirius's tax money and stimulus money. She had just got her money and he wanted half of her money. Malik Halfacre, 25 year old man that was in a relationship with Janitris Moore. Janitris Moore, she had a seven year old Eve Moore and she had a six month year old, which was bothered by the, the psychotic murderer, AKA Malik Halfacre. They were together and over a course of time, there was mental, physical, and emotional abuse. Janitris had a restraining order against this guy and this restraining order was issued on the 6th of October back in 2020. He also had like damaged her possessions by putting like sugar in her tank, just all out of malicious ill intent and um, psychotic behavior. She knew that he would come back and kill her. He had threatened her numerous times, mm -hmm. put sugar in her tank, slashed her tires, mm -hmm. shot up her car. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She lived in fear with this man. All of this news coverage hit the scene yesterday. Malik, AKA Mental Nutcase, ended up shooting up the whole house. It's not just shooting up someone's house and hoping that you hit someone. No, like actually, you're gonna give me half of that stimulus check or else. Inside the house were Janitrius's mother, Tamika Brown, her brother, Daquan Moore, her cousin, Anthony Johnson, and her daughter, Eve Moore. Daquan was trying to save his sister. He was taken up for his sister. He stood up and said, she said, you cannot have the money. You cannot have her money, that's what she said. And pushed Malik. And Malik pulled out the gun and just start killing everybody. Or else ended up transpiring into a fatal murder. Four people are dead, are gone, are never coming back. Her family was brutally murdered and, and massacred all out of pure hate because this is very very devastating um for someone to have to lose their life over money it's not only about the money people like to just say oh yeah he only killed her over twelve fourteen hundred dollars honestly i feel like he wanted to take her money and he wanted to take her life anyone that he saw as a threat or anyone that he saw was potentially going to get into his way he kills an entire family over nonsense i am so tired of this senseless violence um not only just in the world but especially in my community the black community it's very disheartening to have to look at this and internalize it and really just kind of desensitize yourself to it to a certain extent because you would be crying every day you would be depressed every day on countless amount of cases due to blacks harming each other and especially black men harming black women a huge problem in our community that needs to be not only addressed but needs to be nipped in the bud it needs to be faced and it needs to be eliminated there should be no way in hell that you can see yourself and someone else and want to hurt them there should be no way in hell that you could want to hurt anyone, especially an innocent child, especially innocent people. That a lot of people are upset that the child is deceased. What about the other individuals that lost their lives? With this situation, I want us to understand that yes, he did it for the money, but more so it was to control her. It was to show her his power. It was to show her that he can literally take, take her life away. If he's not with her, nobody else can be with her. And you literally are a piece of shit because it took her child, her mother, someone that was very dear to her heart. Because she's still alive. And not only did 
he put salt on a bullet wound, he literally chased after this girl. After he had shot the shit out of her and her family, having to witness her entire family being killed. You see this kind of stuff on movies, but this shit happens all the time. Craig Jackson says that he was waiting on a food delivery late Saturday night when he heard a knock on his door. I was sitting right here in my chair. I heard a loud bang of the door, bam, 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 bam. I guess uh, she, uh, I said, who is it? She said, can you help me? I've been shot. She said her baby daddy shot her uh, and he shot her. He shot her, her mother and the kids. She said she was the only person who, uh, who got away. While they waited for help to arrive, Jackson tried to keep more conscious by talking to her. I said, uh, why did he shoot you? And has that words stem this money? And thinking about it, I'm starting to get a little bit emotional because it makes no sense. People that don't have things will do anything. They don't have more, they don't have money, they don't have the means or the resources. They are willing to take that away from someone else. They are willing to steal someone's property, their possessions, their money, their joy, their sanity in order for them to feel good about themselves, in order for them to feel accomplished. And this guy is sick. So it's not only about the stimulus check. I'm sure that it was deeper than just the stimulus check. People are just running with it like, oh my God, over $1,400 stimulus. Stimulus money. He was in disbelief that Half Acre would kill four people and injure another over a stimulus check. I understand that he wanted the money and we know that it was about the money, but there was more things leading up aside from the money. This is a disgrace to my community. He does not represent us at all. The people that I am speaking of, we are all about elevating each other, uplifting each other, um, creating black wealth, black families, and black businesses, and black empires. That's what we're focused on, on this side. So his side is absolute. It's the wrong side. It's the wrong turn. I want you guys to tell me how you feel about this situation. Um, do you feel that it was only about the money, which the media is basically trying to portray that it was only about the money, more so about him being a narcissist, him being ill and a sociopath. So please let me know how you guys feel. How could this have been handled differently? And how can we learn from this and grow from this and make sure that this does not happen as frequently as it does? So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and received some type of benefit. Be safe, um, be aware of who you are dating, who you are dealing with, who you have children with, and who you surround yourself around. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Destiny Heaven. You guys can also check me out on my website at destinyheaven.com.